Hi! Wanna have a girl's night out? Would love to, but I'm tired from working so much. I've just gotten home and the house is a mess. Where Anna and Kaden? They should be helping you. Remember that Anna is not back from college yet. He's coming back next week, not today. And she would just make a mess out of everything. One thing about my daughter is that she's smart, but she's very disorganized and clumsy. So she would just make the house dirtier. I also need to clean her room. I washed her sheets so that they'll be fresh. Where is Kaden? How about I come over and help you with the cleaning if you agree to come to the open mic on the weekend with me? On the weekend? It will be the 5th. The 5th? This is the month that my husband disappeared 8 years ago. Oh, no, I'm so sorry, friend. I forgot about it and I promised that I was not trying to be insensitive. No, I understood where you're coming from. You just want to spend time with me. You know what? Let us do it. Otherwise, he'll just spend the weekend mopping. Kaden is also going to play football this weekend. Yes, it will be so much fun and will help get your mind off everything that happened. Well, at least the dreams have not started yet this year. I still blame myself for not forcing him to stay back when he wanted to go on that cruise. You could not do anything to stop him. Jonathan was a headstrong man with a mind of his own. You could only support him. He will want you to be happy. You have been taking good care of the kids. I had no choice but to step up, even if I had to work 24-7 to support them. Because he did not have insurance. Well, I am sure that he's looking down on you. I must go. I'm making some chicken in the oven and I forgot about it. I think I can smell it burning. Hurry! Are you ready? For what? Come on. No, really. I wish I could come, but I am in a very awkward situation right now. How so? Can you not sort it out? Let me video call you. Tell me he's a ghost. He's not. He's flesh and blood. My husband is not dead. He's alive. Girl. So we decide to just go and sleep without answering my questions? It's still early in the morning. We'll speak. Can you just chill? It is late in the afternoon. Kate had just gone to school and I'm at work. I made some food for you. It's in the kitchen. I also laid out some clothes for you. Thank you, my love. You've always taken good care of me. No problem. I have just one question, though. Shoot. Where have you been? And why did you let me believe that you were dead? I'm sure that where you were, there were phones. Could you not start? Just be glad that I'm alive. Wow, you came back with an attitude as well. You made me grief for eight years. Your dedication is uh, unmatched, my love. Unmatched? Is that all you have to say? Can we talk later? Because I'm hungry. Sure. Wait, how can you just spring that up on me? It, it is like you just want to kill me with stress. To be honest, things between us ended before I even left. I left because our marriage was draining me. I agree that I'm a coward. I took care of your kids for years and made sure that they became good people. And this is what I deserve? I know. I'll try to give you what I can so that you can support yourself. We can talk more about this when you get back home, of course. You really have the nerve. There is nothing to talk about. We are not divorcing until I have all my answers. You will not believe what your father told me. I'm so happy that he's back. As soon as I see him, he's going to take me for ice cream. It has been so long. Maybe then you can ask him where he has been and who he is because I don't recognize him. But mom, what does it matter? He is back. We can be family again. How far are you from home? About 20 minutes. Once I get off the bus, I will see dad. I'm counting down the seconds till I see him. Be careful. He's not to be trusted. Mom, how can you say that? You should be happy that the father of your kids is back. I'm not mad at him. We can ask questions later. He already told me what happened. Tell me then. What happened? He nearly died, but he survived the wreck. But he lost his job because he was in the hospital for so long. He wanted to take care of us, but his body would not allow him to. He was paralyzed. Sounds like just a movie. Let me guess. He also has memory problems? No. He couldn't bring himself to come back home. By the time he recovered, he thought maybe he already had moved on. Even if that was the case, I deserve to know that he was alive, so that I would not mourn for a person who was still alive. 
Do you know what that does to a person? It messes a person up, and it's not right. I know, Mom, and I'm sorry. You're not the one who left when I needed you the most. You should be apologizing to me, not asking for a divorce. A divorce? Why would he do that? I'm sure that is just one big misunderstanding. He loves you. Your father does not care about me. He left me to work myself to the bone taking care of you and your brother. He could have just shot me a text telling me that he was alive. According to the law, he is dead. Does he even know what that means for him? Everything has changed. Maybe I should give him that divorce. You cannot do that, mom. You and dad love each other. He is a stranger. Mom, I'm going out for a drink with dad. We'll be back in a couple of hours. It's fine. I'm just reading a book. I will talk to dad about it and convince him not to leave you. Okay? No, don't say anything. Just enjoy your time with him. We'll talk tomorrow. When you get home, we will not be there. He took Kaden and me to the park. He sure is making up for lost time. Mom, I know he messed up, but you do not have to be that hard on him. He is going to do better. I know that he will. And he has not even mentioned the part about the divorce to either me or Kaden. But you must stop giving him the silent treatment. I am not giving him any silent treatment. He is the one who is not talking to me. How about you two go on a date? Please, don't be silly. A date? Yes, you can catch up. He has so many stories about his time overseas that I know you will like. Fine, I will have dinner with him. Tell him we'll have dinner tomorrow night at the Thai restaurant close to my workplace. Oh, no. You must ask him. It would not be romantic if I just pass on the message now, would it be? Please, do it for me and Kaden. Especially Kaden. He has just turned 18 and is dealing with exams, stress, and college applications. He does not have to worry about his parents, too. Does he? You make a good point. I think you're... in the wrong field. You should have chosen the law. Now, that would have been interesting. Maybe you'll be my second degree if dentistry does not work out. Hi. Hi. How is your day going? Pretty well. I'm at the park with the kids, but I have a job interview lined up in a couple of hours. Great. Did you need something? Would you like to have dinner with me tomorrow? You like some Thai food. I've missed that Thai food place. Uh, sure, we can all go. Even though it's a school night for Kaden. Not with the kids. I mean just us. That we can talk. I'm not sure. For the sake of the kids, they sense a tension between us. Sure, is uh, 8pm okay with you? It is perfect. I'll see you then. Hey, how's the ghost doing? Well, he has stopped ghosting me, literally. We went out for dinner tonight. Oh, wow, which is great. So does he still want a divorce? Did he explain everything to you? Well, he explained that he was very, very sorry. That he had a whole new life and was not sure about how to come back to this old one. He was also afraid that insurance might have paid off even though he's alive. Well, luckily, they did not because he forgot to make payments. Otherwise, they would have taken him to court for their money. I know, but that is not all. What more is there? Tell me that it's something good for once. Well, those were the highlights. Now let us get to the depressing parts of the evening. He wants me to leave his house. And he wants a divorce. Are you even still married? No idea, but yeah. He told me that I have one week to find a place to stay and leave his house. What about the kids? Since they're his biological kids and over 18, they told me that there's no need for me to take care of them anymore. Wow, this man is ungrateful. You raised those two like they were your own when their father passed now. He thanks you by kicking you out? Girl, please, tell me that you're going to fight him. I am just tired, Valerie. This whole week has been hell. He has done nothing but add to the stress. If I think of it, maybe I should just leave. You're the one who makes that house at home. I don't care if it's his or something. If anyone should leave, then it has to be him. He has the law on his side. What can I do? You must get a lawyer and drag him to court. Then you will sue him for the money you spent on his kids. And you will get the house. Who does he think he is? Strolling back after eight years expecting to walk all over you? He should have moved on a long time ago. He does not deserve you. You're right. I'm letting him treat me badly and that is not okay.
We are going to divorce. Finally, you get what I've been trying to tell you for the past weeks. But this house is mine, and you'll have to drag me out kicking and screaming if you think that I'm going to leave. You think I'm scared of you? You're so weak-willed. I honestly thought you were going to give up at some point and give the kids to my mom, but you held on. Well, you could never have the kids of your own, so it was easy for you to get attached. But you share 0% DNA with them, and I need you out of their lives. You're a stranger. A stranger? You know what? You don't have a heart. You're rotted on the inside. Where there should be common decency. You just have turd-like behavior. In fact, you could dethrone the worst person in the world. Any ounce of the love that I had in my heart for you has now non-existent. Glad we got that cleared up. You better start looking for a house, or I will throw you out. Try me. So you are the desperate peasant who does not want to use your play house. I've just landed. We'll see you at dinner tonight. Do you think that you can bully my man and get away with it? I get it. You were a lawyer for eight years. But I should have probably just moved on, boo-hoo. Excuse me while I look for the fuck I give. I shouldn't look for a place to stay while you're at it. I'm not going anywhere, honey. Be sure to bring your blankets and food. You can stay here, but you cannot use anything. I bought every single thing. You have been making my Jonathan eat takeaway food. How could you? Yeah, so... Why would you do that? Why are you so petty? <laughs> I cannot even with you. You know, you should be a comedian, but I must ask you something. Who the hell are you? The little floozy that he met during his eight-year hiatus? I am his fiancé. We are going to get married. I have come here so we can start a life together as soon as you leave. You can have him. He's all yours. But this house is mine. It is standing today because of me. I paid all the bills, did maintenance, and took care of his kids while he was out gallivanting with you. I must say you have great taste in men. If that is backhand comment, it feels flat. I have great taste in men. And now once you are gone, we are going to start a new life together. Sorry, I have a job to get back to. Last time I checked, you were not the one paying me, so take a seat, please. Oh, he has a mistress. Well, that is not surprising. And she just moved in. What the hell? I promise no one can make this up. It's so catastrophic. Every day, he just takes my breath away. The weirdest little man I ever met. Are you telling me that I've been married to him for 10 years? Girl, love makes us blind. And people change. Well, I locked all my drawers and fridge. Let them starve. You are an evil genius. <laughs> They can eat, just not in this house, and using my things. But you know, the week is about to end. Everything is in his name. Well, what are you going to do? They're going to have to call the army to drag me out of here. I have patience. I waited eight years for news about a man who was out there enjoying his life with some woman. Well then, I give you all my support, friend. I never knew that you had this feisty side of you. Well, now you do. I'm going to make him wish he never crossed me. Imagine. Oh, and the kids hate me now. What? They're giving me this honey treatment. I don't know what I did to them. They only talk to their father and Cassidy. I try to ask, but no one is talking to me in this house. You need to find out what is going on. You're right. Hey, Anna. What do you want? Just sleep already. Anna, I'm your mother. You cannot tell me to leave. You're my stepmother. And you are selfish. How am I selfish? Dad left because of you. You are too demanding. You caused him to be depressed. I try to stop him from leaving. You are too young and don't remember a damn thing. You know nothing. Let me remind you that I took care of you and Katie like my own. And now you want to take our house. She goes out and leave Dad with nothing. Your father brought another woman into this house. I'm sorry. Can you not see her? Her marriage is over anyways. So, just like that. Yes, please just do us all a favor and leave. Fine. Hey, just wanted you to know that I will leave. Finally. You lied about me to our children. How could you? They're not your kids, just stop. And they're adults, they don't need you to coddle them. I see what you're doing, 
that you are turning them against me. And you will see through your lies. One day, what do you do to them like you did to me? And I have a feeling that your new fiancé is the one who's going to ruin your relationship with your kids. Cassidy loves these kids. Not as much as I do. Woman, just start packing your stuff. You're giving me a headache. You keep going on and on like a broken record. You have won. You have truly hurt me even though all I ever done is love you. So, I shall leave. I hope that you're happy. I'm ecstatic. You know, I only married you because I needed a mother for my kids. Gosh, you annoy me. I couldn't- I just couldn't do it after two years. You could have just left me alone. And looked like a bad person? You are still going to look like one. I don't really care anymore, and besides, we're gonna have to have a peaceful divorce, are we not? Only because I don't want to hurt Anna and Tia more than you have. Are you gone yet? No, there's something that I must tell you. What? Cassidy is your biological mother. My mother's name is Angela. Cassidy is her middle name. I have your birth record here. It cannot be. It is. My mother is not alive. She abandoned your father for another man. He moved on with me, but he never stopped loving her. So when she was suddenly single, she asked him to come to her. He got into a shipwreck, survived, and decided to stay dead. For the past eight years, they have been together. But why? Why did they go through all the secrecy when the truth would have been fine? Well, in those years, they have some money problems. And then when he got some legal problems, and managed to get himself deported. So he decided to move back here with her, where he had a house and his kids. She is not my mother. I have all the pictures. I have never seen my mother's pictures. My father said he left them all in the fire. You are lying to me. My father is not a liar and a cheat. As it is your mother, ask your father about it. Oh my god, just leave already. Just ask him for the truth. I asked him. It is true. See? I told you not to trust him. I still want you to leave. What? After finding out everything? I want to live with my mom and dad. Kaden as well? Leave my brother alone. He does not agree. He does. No, he has always followed your lead. I know my child. How do you know he does not agree? Because he just walked into my workplace. The traitor. By the way, Kaden is moving out with me. I always knew that child was spineless. Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Anna will realize that you are a sneak soon. Anna loves me and she's happy to see her mother. We're a happy family. There's only one problem, a thorn in our backside, and that thorn is you. You're right, and it is about to get really painful for you. Court summons, really? Well, you're the one who wants to speed up the process, so I did you a favor. Okay, I'll show up, but best to get this done, I guess. Woman, just give it up. No, I will not. You have Caden and a place to stay. What more do you want from me? I am the laughing stock of the whole town. I will not let you do this to me. Well, our divorce is getting finalized either way. Then I'll remarry Cassidy. It goes without saying that you and that child of yours are not invited. We don't plan on being there. Sure, whenever. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. I'm having a family day with uh, my family. I got him. What do you mean? I got him good. How? He's up for a nasty surprise tomorrow. Okay, I will take your word for it. Ah, thank you so much for supporting me through the past few months. I have been hellish, but I have finally nailed him. I cannot believe that no one thought to check for this. Well, okay, Miss Secretive. I don't want to jinx it, but there is a chance that this might now work. I will know it work. Tell me everything after you come back tomorrow. Oh, I won't. You got the house? I did. How? Well, he was missing for eight years and presumed dead. We got married in community or property and he did not have a will. That's how everything went to me and his kids. But as his wife, I was a main benefactor, since the kids were not 18. What? 
Yes, his assets went to me and legally, he's still dead. But he could contest it. Not if he wants to be charged with peaking his own death, which he did. Did they not already do an investigation though? Well, they did, but they can do it again and prove he faked his own death. He has more problems now. He can sort it out his status of being deceased. I am so freaking happy right now. You beat him at his own game. And now I'll throw him out. Because of you, our wedding has been postponed. Putting that stunt would not make him take you back. I hope you know that. I don't want your sloppy seconds again. Happy wedding planning! And get out of my house. Kate and I are moving back in. I am not leaving! He's going to fix this, and once he's done, he will be very embarrassed. Did he fix it? You got him arrested? Me? I know nothing about that. He said he got arrested for faking his own death and claiming insurance. That is funny, he never paid his bills on time. They cancelled out way before he went missing. Oh really? Then why is he in jail? And the plot thickens. Eat some popcorn. Please, you have to let me stay for one more day. I need to get him bailed out. Oh, Bonnie and Claire are also insurance scammers. <laughs> no one can make this up. Please have some sympathy. I have nowhere to go. Did you also know about it? No. If you did, handling yourself in would be a great idea. You opened this can of worms. I'm sure that you are so happy with yourself. Oh, me? I'm just gonna let justice prevail. Better confess, you'll get a lighter sentence. I did nothing wrong. I give it till tomorrow morning. Anna also owns this house, you know. A third. Kaden and I own two thirds. Do the math. She can stay if she wants, but you and your scammer boyfriend need to leave. Please, I'm begging you. Nope, you're lucky that I did not personally come to throw you out of my house. You will not get away with this. With what? Karma coming to collect? You make me laugh. <laughs> Good luck. Any updates on the situation? Well, they're gone from my house. I have not really been paying attention to the gossip. It is hot news. What could we have been busy with? We must know. I've been going on dates. What? Yeah. And you're only telling me this now? Tell me everything. Haven't met anyone special, but feel pretty good about myself. Oh, I'm so happy for you. That day when I kicked Cassidy out and Anna decided to go with her, felt a big weight lifts it off my shoulders. Do you know how many dates I've been declining for years just because of him? Well, I'll not deny myself the pleasure anymore. So, Anna's really going to stick with her? She loves her. She calls her mom. It's like I never existed to her. She is very ungrateful. You have been the best mom to her. She's an adult. She can make her own decisions. At least Kaden stood by me. He's always been a good boy. Just been messed up by his sister. He was very sorry by taking their side. Mm -hmm. Poor child. Felt so bad, but I forgave him. He's my son after all. Your relationship with your son is so explanatory. You have done a very good job raising them. You deserve some happiness of your own now. Trust me when I say I'm going to enjoy it. As you should. Hi. Can I please borrow some money? What? Mom, I'm really sorry. I'm in a tight position now. I am not your mom. But... 10k. My fees has not been paid. I am not your mom. It is not my responsibility. I can send my share of the house to you. You know what I think you should do? Apply for student loans or sponsorships. Your marks are very good. Cannot. My average dropped from 80% to 60%. How? I did not attend classes because I was supporting my mom with her case. Mom said she wanted money to pay, but they froze all her assets because of the insurance fraud investigation. Please. Forgive me. I already have. So now, can you please lend me the money? No, I cannot. Why? I'm in the parking lot. I see you near mother. She's telling you what to ride. No, she's not. Should I walk up to you? Mom, I can explain. Stop. You're only making your worst. Mom. No, you and I are strangers. I really need the money. We don't have money for food and stuff. 
Get jobs. I'm not a charity. Jonathan ended up being convicted for faking his own death and for insurance fraud, getting five years in prison. Cassidy was a key witness in the case. As soon as he was convicted, she left with Anna, and I remained behind with Caden. I eventually moved on and started dating, but at the moment, I'm single. Caden is going to start college next year. I will definitely miss him.